All right, all you new preppers out there. Let's just say that... Let's just say that you're just starting to get into prepping. You don't know much about it. You're reading every book you can. And you don't have much hands-on experience. And then stuff actually hits the fan. I mean, what are you going to do when there's no clean water? What are you going to do when there's blood in the streets? I mean, I mean, you can't get a gun and you can't call 911. You better start thinking now about the things you need, boys, because sometimes, sometimes the SHTF scenario comes on a little bit quicker and a little bit stealthier than you once would expect. I remember the I remember the terrorist attack of 9-11-2001. We had warning. We had Morning, we had intelligence, but no one really believed that there was going to be a terrorist attack on the World Trade Center in New York, in, the, in New York City. I mean, that right there, that right there set my prepping in motion, and I was, I was probably six years old at that time. I I have been prepping off and on since 9-11-2001. And, you know, what seriously kicked my preps into high gear was, uh, was the uh, Joplin and Greensburg tornadoes. Joplin, Missouri, Greensburg, Kansas. Those two towns being wiped clean off the map and just seeing the devastation and carnage of two towns where the sirens were virtually silent. That that really, really escalated my prepping. What I want you to do is I want you to put what escalated your prepping down in the comments below. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to go to bed. Today was just, today was just a really good day. I'll see you guys later. And today's prepper signing off. See you guys.